All right, well, I'm gonna be putting this uh, rear view mirror dash cam into my Challenger. The reason being is, uh, well, let me show you. Because in my pickup truck, I've got my garage door openers right on the bottom of the mirror here. And this other mirror is gonna actually take over and cover up these buttons. So the Challenger actually has the buttons up on top. And let's see if you can see those buttons right there. So these are for the front gate and my two garage door uh, openers. So that's up above it. So the only thing on this is just a uh, basic uh, dimming feature on here. Now I've got my Acaso that I've been using for a long time in a Challenger and it's been good. God, I love the sound of this car. Then it works good but I'm gonna take it down, replace it, and we're gonna stick in the new mirrored dash cam. And then I'm gonna put the back camera back there in the back window, and we'll see how this process works. Okay, I've just cleaned the back windshield, and before I mount the rear camera, I just wanna show you that I'm using the 3M sticky tape because I don't want to drill this into my bumper or below the rear trunk hatch i want to put this in the rear window so i use the 3m sticky tape and also it has a red wire now this red wire is a signal wire that you're going to hook up to your reverse lights and when you stick the car into reverse the dash cam mirror will show you little grid lines so when you reverse you know how far you are from and possibly another car or a person or whatever the case may be. I am not gonna hook up this reverse light signal because I don't know how good that the dash cam video is gonna be, but if it turns out to be real good and I consider keeping it in the car as permanent, then I will hook this up and then do a follow-up video. But now let's go ahead and hook this up to the rear window. Okay, it's kind of dark in the car and I apologize for that. But this is the third light right here on the rear window and what i'm going to do is i'm going to attach it to this portion right here so that the camera gets a good shot right out of the back i don't know maybe i could put it here i think i'm going to stick it right here on this plastic got it all right so So it seems to be on there pretty good. Now I've just got to get the cable situated where I want it to be for the time being. And then I'm gonna root it up front. Okay, got the rear camera mounted back there. And here is the signal wire for the rear camera. So I've got that looped over the existing mirror so this mirror here comes with these rubbers or these rubber straps that will actually wrap around the mirror and then you step it back in on the bottom side and this way it holds it firmly against your existing mirror and we'll get that put on right now So, I'll snake this one around here. We'll take this cable, snake it around the back, also down to the side. Just for giggles, we'll plug this in and just see if it works. We're gonna go ahead and fire up the car and see how it initializes. on and it's recording there's my rear view and by touching the screen you can adjust the camera you can adjust it down or up which is kind of neat and then we'll tap the screen we'll change view this is forward it is recording I don't know if you see a little red light right there but it is recording you can stop recording by pushing this button. So it tells you it is 1834, 
Uh, da, 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 which is incorrect. Should be 13. 1334. Well, we'll just go into the menu setting. We'll fix that real quick. We're gonna go, let's see. Loop recording, I got three minutes. Auto recording on. Travel laps I don't have on, don't want it on. Auto power off. Date and time. Let's see, it is approximately. Okay. Hit okay again. Stamp. I want just the date. So that's correct. Light frequency. For some reason, light frequency will not change from 50 to 60. Don't know what that's about. Screensaver. We'll go, uh, let's say, two minutes just so it doesn't distract you too much while you're driving. Uh, it has a GPS option, which this one does not have, so it'll show uh, miles per hour if you have the GPS module which I do not have. Uh, when we go to resolution, you can see here in resolution, 1080p for the front, 720 for the rear, or you can have 720 up front and 1080p at the rear. Kind of your choice. I prefer 1080p up front. So we'll get out of this menu setting. This icon right here should go away in just a second. Yep, there it goes. So now you can move the image around how you like it. I want just a little bit of the hood just so I can see where I am in comparison to everything else. And let's see, we'll tilt this up a little bit. I'd like to have that straight. Go back to the rear camera. Rear camera is just a little bit off from what you can see there. But this is gonna have to work. It's not that off, so. And if you press this bottom button right there, now you're back to regular mirror, so you can see my lovely face. So that works out pretty well. Touch the bottom again. And you see that it's still recording. And once I open up the door, it turns off power. And this should power down and now save that video file. behind the dash cam mirror and do a little audio test one two three four five one two three four five now one thing that I will say is right now I am looking at the mirror at the front camera display and I will say that I'm very impressed given the fact that it is uh, almost 8 15 p.m. it is dark outside the front camera seems to be very good in low light 
because the screen is really lit up. Now when I go to the rear camera, take a look, it is dark, but we'll see up on a major road how it looks. And you can see the lightning flashing because we got big thunderstorms rolling in. This plate. I am not sure. Oh, good lightning start. So all in all, what do I think about this dash camera from Cam Park, the R10? Well, I do like it. I really like the fact that it is a dual dash camera so that you've got your mirror dash camera facing forward and also you've got a rear view which that you can choose between 720 or 1080p for the rear or 720, 1080p for the front. I like the touch screen, it's very, very responsive. And also the screen on the mirror is extremely bright. The audio sounds very good. All in all, it's a very good dash camera. The only issue that I ran into is when you are trying to listen to audio files or actually trying to edit any of the video is the audio, for some reason on this MOV container, the audio will not play and it shows an error exception like in Adobe Premiere Pro I tried it in DaVinci, I tried it even on Windows Movie Maker just to see and it will not play the audio and a uh, exception warning pops up every time. My only solution was to use this program called Free Studio to actually just convert it over from MOV to MP4 and once I did that then it would play in all the video players and it would also be editable where the audio was actually there. So all in all, I think it's very, very nice. I think that the nighttime video footage from the front facing camera is very nice, although you still cannot read license plates with it. Now the rear camera in dark nighttime situations, it has a difficult time picking up a lot, but if it's a well-lit situation where you're outside during the daytime, it definitely picks up license plate numbers from the rear camera and also from the front camera very well. So all in all, I mean, I have to give it like a thumbs and one and a half thumbs up. Reason being, if it wasn't for that little audio thing, and I did reach out to Camp Park regarding it, and they said for me to try playing it in the VLC uh, video player that's on like Windows 10, so I tried that, S still no go. So um, don't know what to say about that part, but it's very easy fix if you just convert over the file from MOB to MP4. So I'll put a product link in the description below. Tell me, what do you think about the Camp Park mirror dual dash camera? Comment below, let me know. Also, product link in the description below. And remember, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe today. Click on the little bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. And until next time, bye-bye.